The investigation continues now in Washington state after that deadly Amtrak crash. They are now looking into whether or not the driver of that train was distracted by someone he was training on the job. Claudia Cowan looks at that live in DuPont, Washington. Claudia, good morning. Well, Bill, good morning. Along with excessive speed, federal investigators are looking at whether the engineer who was driving this train may, in fact, have been distracted, as you said. They say that the emergency brake activated automatically when this train, which you'll recall was traveling 50 miles over the speed limit, jumped the tracks. They say the engineer did not activate it manually, nor was he alone in the locomotive. There were two people uh, in the cab, the engineer and a conductor who was getting experience and familiarizing himself with the territory. The actual conductor, as there is one on every train, was in the actual passenger section uh, at the time of the accident. Officials say the engineer was qualified and had been operating the train in this area in the last couple of weeks. All five crew members were hospitalized. Investigators say they hope to speak to them in the next few days. Two of the three people who were killed were passionate advocates for public transportation. Friends say Jim Hammer and Zach Wilhoyt were excited to be on the maiden voyage of Amtrak's new high-speed service between Seattle and Portland. And how ironic and sad that they perished in a train accident and just one week before Christmas. The mangled passenger cars that spilled onto the freeway have been hauled away for further examination as Amtrak comes under fire for launching its new line before activating speed control technology that they say might have prevented Monday's derailment. Meantime, a four-mile stretch here of Interstate 5 remains closed just moments ago. State highway officials said they still need to move a locomotive out of the way and make sure the roadway is safe before they reopen one, maybe two lanes, best case scenario, hopefully later today, Bill. Well, Claudia Cowan, thank you live in DuPont, Washington.